I want to talk about Nathan the the Wise. This is a play by Gotthold Ephraim Lessing and it was published in 1779 and it was only uh, put into um, uh, uh, put on the stage in 1783 in Berlin after his death. Go, uh, Ephraim Lessing was a um, playwright, poet, philosopher, lyricist, and um, he um, was born in Kamenz. Um, he was um, in this play talking about religious tolerance. And I think it's a very um, interesting subject because um, even though we, a lot of us are secular, and I'm now in France, which is a secular country, uh, it, it you know secular is a very thin lining uh, on top of the cake. You know, uh, it's <laughs> it's not really um, uh, deep down in the feelings of certain people and um, so I want to say that the story uh, of Nathan uh, who is um, living in Jerusalem he is a rich wealthy Jewish merchant and um, he is uh, in um, in a country where Saladin is ruling at the time it's uh, during the crusades uh, the third uh, crusades and uh, there's a knight templar involved nathan comes back from a mm, business trip and he finds his uh, daughter raka who is adopted by him um, saved by this templar who's the only Christian Templar left in the city because uh, he looks like um, Saladin's brother. So, uh, um, you know, basically uh, Saladin and Nathan uh, meet and Saladin tells him, ask him for a story. And so Nathan uh, tells him about the parable of the three rings. Now, the story of the three rings is a story within a story, and um, so um, um, Nathan says that um, there was once a, a man who had three sons, and um, he wanted to get, leave something for each of them in hereditary. He had a magic ring, and he wanted to give this ring um, to all three of them, he didn't want to mm, sort of um, create uh, competition between them, and um, so uh, he thought of a, a way of um, d distributing the wealth without creating um, conflict between the the people. Uh, that he loved and um, so what he does is that he takes the ring to a jeweler and he m makes another two rings exactly like it or maybe he makes the uh, three rings uh, um, and um, you know throws away, uh, away the real one because uh, ba basically what he wants is to leave this precious ring to all the three of them and uh, uh, and that's what he does he gives a ring to each of them and so solves the issue of um, heredity the thing is that uh, the parable comes in when um, um, it's the three religions and um, Lessing says that uh, the the, uh, the rings are uh, symbolic of each monotheistic religion, and the three sons are the uh, 
three mon monotheistic religions um, saying that they have the only truth. But really speaking, each one has a truth uh, and um, that should be good enough. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, what Lessing is saying is that um, all the religions are equal, it's just the, uh, the intention of them uh, and the moral they spread, which is the most important thing. And um, so, uh, today is a Sunday and I'm on the road say, uh, doing this uh, because um, the story of Nathan was something I studied for a university exam with my dear friend uh, Guido in Italy um, and he, he knew Lessing and he knew that lesson uh, um, the, the, or, uh, in history um, it was the period of illuministic thought uh, where Lessing was trying to educate people to accept other religions, other philosophies uh, and um, uh, give value to the core of the um, philosophy of them rather than the uh, superficial practice and um, so um, basically the larger story is about Nathan uh, and Saladin coming into an agreement uh, they have um, their children uh, um, basically uh, uh, Nathan's adopted daughter Reka, Reka and uh, the Templar um, fall in love but um, when the Templar um, wants to marry her um, Saladin comes out with the story that the, basically the, they are brothers and sisters and, uh, and that they can't um, and get married because uh, uh, they were uh, s siblings who were separated because of war and uh, so the story um, ends in a happy uh, f mood um, with friendship and uh, brotherhood and uh, uh, good feelings um, among the characters. I like the fact that this is this is a story that is placed in Jerusalem and that the, it is still um, something that we have to consider because uh, basically what it is is that um, the, the three religions are living in um, a country which says that it's secular but that there are still um, conflict uh, issues that have not been resolved and that are not going to, don't seem to be um, ha, uh, having a solution pretty soon. Uh, there, there is a wall, there are Palestinians who are basically downtrodden on their own land and country and uh, nobody is um, saving the Palestinians from this situation and uh, I think uh, we all forget about that you know what with Syria coming up and then Ukraine coming up and uh, you know all sorts of uh, uh, the Uyghurs in China uh, you know um, um, uh, uh, we, we don't realize that uh, this issue is still an ongoing issue and that these people are downtrodden in their own country uh, which was taken over in after the World War 
by the Zionists and that they have no intention of uh, uh, promoting a uh, monotheistic religion uh, over there. I mean, they all that they want to do is to um, have control, uh, basically, on, on the region and uh, the downtrodden uh, 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 issue is going to be larger ever since they are in control of surveillance. I just wanted to um, say, uh, I mean, ask, are we getting wiser uh, with the technology that has come our way, you know, uh, through um, science and um, will surveillance really solve our problems and promote peace?